What follows is graphic medical footage. This is live endoscopic carpal tunnel surgery performed by Dr. Stephen Helgemo at Southwest Florida Hand Specialist. First, the endoscopic carpal tunnel incision is marked on the skin. It measures about a quarter an inch in length. Next, we're depicting where the transverse carpal ligament lies and the traditional open carpal tunnel surgery incision if this were to be used. An upper arm tourniquet had been placed to allow a bloodless field. The s mark bandage is then used to exsanguinate or squeeze the blood out of the hand and the tourniquet is inflated to allow temporary restriction of circulation. The small quarter inch incision is made taking care to only cut the skin and none of the underlying structures. The patient is under sedation and is given local anesthesia to prevent any discomfort during the procedure. Specialized retractors are used to provide access to the palmar fascia and distal form fascia. A small window in this is made to allow access to the carpal canal. The distal form fascia is then, is then released. And specialized instrumentation is used to separate <clears throat> any contents from underneath the transverse carpal ligament to allow access. This is a dilator instrument which is used to provide a pathway for the endoscopic carpal tunnel instrumentation which is shown here. It is then placed within the, endoscop within the carpal canal and as you can see on the video monitor, the transverse carpal ligament is identified clearly with fibers going across the screen. The blade is then elevated and the instrumentation withdrawn. As you can see, providing an adequate release of the carpal tunnel. That pink structure above is muscle. The skin is then closed with Dermabond or medical super glue. And again, it measures about five millimeters. And then a small or light bandage is placed. Patients have very little pain afterwards and are able to use the hand immediately taking only Tylenol or Advil.